Hello, my name is George, and uh, today I'm going to do a quick video on the review of the new Game Ready uh, driver from NVIDIA. Um, 441.66 is the uh, newest driver from NVIDIA. Um, I will put a link in the description below to uh, grab this driver from NVIDIA's site, but I'm not going to delve too deeply into this. I'm just going to go over some of the patch notes, uh, some of the new features and fixes. Um, just going over this driver. I just downloaded it. I haven't really seen any issues with it um, just to start with. But then again, um, as more people download it, we'll get a larger um, pool of people that are trying to use this driver and maybe there will be some kind of issues that rise up with it just like any other driver update. Um, I always recommend to wait like a couple of weeks before using one of these new NVIDIA drivers if you already have game ready drivers that are working functionally well for you I would not recommend to update them unless you require these drivers to play a new game that you just purchased and uh, yeah and you require this driver in order to run it so um, as I was saying sorry that I am I'm a little bit kind of off right now um, I just got done streaming for like 17 hours so I'm extremely tired um, so I'm just going to go over this so I can put up some content before I go to sleep for today. So, um, let me start again. Uh, it's a game ready driver, NVIDIA 441.66. My uh, gaming PC runs a 2080 Ti with this. I've also tested it on my stream PC with, uh, 1080 Ti's. And my laptop, uh, over to my right, which has a couple of 1080's. Tested it on all these PCs. I've run a few games with it. I haven't seen any issues with it yet. So uh, good so far. Um, so the new features and fixes in this 441.66 uh, first. Um, yeah, it adds optimal support for MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries and also adds support for Detroit Become Human. Um, they added some new G-Sync compatible monitors. Uh, the two main ones would be MSI's MAG251RX and the ViewSonic's uh, XG270. Um, a few of the game ready fixes for this driver. Uh, they resolved an application may crash during the timeline playback when using uh, Blackmagic raw codec. Um, Forza Motorsport for uh, game fix for Forza Motorsport 7. Um, stuttering after a few racing laps. Uh, for Fallout 76, they fixed a G-Sync issue with frame drops with an enabled for the 1080 Ti. There, uh, there was no 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound option in the Windows Sound property. And uh, this applied to me, so I'm glad that got fixed. For the GTX 1066 gig, the NVIDIA control panel, the NVIDIA control panel reports an incorrect GPU frame buffer size. I don't have a 1060 that I run regularly, so I'm not too sure about that one, but glad that it got fixed. So, a few open issues that are still there. Um, obviously, one would be GTA 5 is still not fixed from crashing. It's uh, I noticed that I was still crashing running with the new Rockstar launcher, so that hasn't been fixed for like months now. I, I don't know since when, but I know that that's one of the... One of the games that I play and it still hasn't been fixed yet, so I ran it and it crashed anyways after uh, an hour of play or maybe it was 30 minutes of play, but after that I was able to I was able to play normally, so that wasn't really an issue. Uh, for Windows 7, um, the game crashes when switched from DirectX 11 to 12 mode. Uh, I don't play World of Warcraft. Uh, battle for Azeroth, so it's not an issue for me, but just keep an eye out for that one if you do play that game. Just be aware that this driver still has this issue in Windows 7. Uh, for Windows 10 only, um, in Sniper Elite 4, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the frame rate is not capped at the display refresh rate with VSync enabled in DirectX 12 mode. Um, in this case, uh, I would never suggest running VSync anyways, at least in my case, I don't run VSync with any of mine, I run G-Sync, but... They're not competitive games, so I guess there's a few, few people that want to have VSync enabled in the DirectX 12 mode. And for all you people that run these kinds of games, you're probably going to play it at ultra settings and on a decent setup. So, yeah, uh, take that for what you will. That's still an open issue. And another one for Windows 10 is this. 
It's official Grand Theft Auto 5. The game frequently crashes that has not been fixed. And it says here that NVIDIA is working with application developers to resolve the issue. I sure bet they are. So, a couple of things here. Um, if you are going to install this driver, I would, uh, I would definitely recommend a DDU. Um, so this is the driver delete utility, I think that's what it is. Um, I will put that also in the link in the description below. Um, I mean, that's... Yeah, that's pretty much it for this driver. I don't want it to draw on too long. I mean, I just wanted to explain that I ran the drivers and some of the main games that I play, like Rainbow Six Siege, uh, GTA V. Um, what else was there? Like PUBG, I had really no issues with it, except PUBG is really stuttering on my PC right now. So I, I'm not sure. On my 1080 Ti build, uh, PUBG ran absolutely fine. Um, yeah, I, I don't understand what that is. Uh, maybe I have my overclock set too high, my memory overclock set too high, since I'm running 5.1 gigahertz, and I think, yeah, it's 5.1 gigahertz at 1.325 vCore, and my memory is running at 37.33, so maybe I gotta bump up the voltage or something, it'll fix it. But, yeah, that's still an ongoing issue that I have. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it here. Um, I am uh, reading off of the uh, Game Ready Driver FAQ discussion that's in one of the subreddits. So, yeah, this is uh, NVIDIA's subreddit, so it's uh, official information that's out to the public if you would like to go see it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. As I said, I'll put the download... I will put the NVIDIA download page in the link in the description below. I will also put a link for DDU down in the description below. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe this video. And please let me know if you would like me to do more of these videos. Uh, try to get the driver and try to get the information out as fast as possible. Digest it as fast as possible for you guys to watch more often because I think this is a first for the kind of videos that I usually make. I usually don't do digest videos, especially about drivers because you need a significant amount of time with a pool of data in order to properly digest um, the information that comes from the company and make sure that it lines up with the performance that is available um, upon the download and use of this driver. So, like I said, if you want it, um, I'm happy to do these more often. Um, like I said, please like and subscribe um, and share this video if there's other people that are interested in this kind of like, uh, you know, maybe more enthusiast uh, level inform like PC information. Um, oh yeah, and a bunch of people are asking me, even though I have it in the description below, what my um, what my stream PC specs are. So it's still the 16 core Threadripper with 64 gigs of RAM uh, running uh, either a single or dual 1080 Ti's. I don't really run 1080 Ti's just simply because there's really no SLI support anymore. But I have the second one if I require to use it from my last build. So, um, yeah, that's... Uh, oh, and it's not overclocked. So, just a, yeah, just as a heads up. That Threadripper is a stream PC, so I don't overclock it. If I do overclock it, I can hit about 4.1 at, I think, 1.39 vCore. Maybe it was 1.4 vCore. I'm not sure. On an X399 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. So, yeah. It's pretty simple stuff. Hopefully, uh, I didn't drag this on too long. Um, yeah, again, it's a, sh it's a short video that I wanted to make uh, since I just saw the drivers go live from NVIDIA. Uh, a few hours ago when I tried them, so yeah, they were they were good. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the main portion. But again, as I said, if you already have working drivers and you don't require new functionality from these drivers, I would stick with the old ones until there's a, a bigger pool of data in order to digest if it is good or if it is bad, if it's recommended or not. So um, yeah. I'm going to go to sleep now. I streamed on Mixer for 17 hours. See you guys in the next one. Have a good night.